Hey guys, and welcome back to math class. Today we are looking at representing non-proportional linear relationships. A lot of this is going to be review. We're just going to keep practicing. So let's break down what this title is saying. So representing, I'm going to show it. I'm going to use tables, graphs. It's pretty much it. So when I'm saying representing, I'm going to be looking at tables and graphs. Non-proportional. To be proportional means what? Constant rate of change, direct variation, it's a straight line, it goes through zero, zero. So non-proportional is not through zero, zero. It's not necessarily a multiplicative relationship. So uh, not a direct variation. Remember with a direct variation, our formula was y equals kx. So it's not y equals kx. Linear. Linear means it's a straight line. So if I were to graph this situation, it's a straight line. So linear just means straight line. I've had several people ask me what linear means. It's a straight line. All right, so we're going to be looking at tables and graphs of not one-step equations, not direct variations, but that are still a straight line. So what we're going to be seeing is straight lines that don't go through zero, zero, but they go through the y-axis somewhere. So let's start with an example. If you start with the equation, y equals 3x plus 6. Now, they may say, okay, graph that. But there's no x's and y's. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick x's and y's. So if we wanted to graph this, let's start with graphing. Actually, we're going to, it's going to be both. Okay, so. If I wanted to graph the equation, graph the equation, first thing I'm going to have to do is make a table. So I don't know x's and y's, but I can pick any x. So step one, we're going to pick five x values. Five x values. Generally, you want to pick ones that are going to be close to the origin because when you graph them, you don't want to have to go out to like 500. You want to stay pretty close to 0, 0. So we're going to make our table. X is always on top of our table. Y is on bottom. So X values. Big popular one is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So notice that we're picking those five numbers that are right next to the origin. And we're picking whole numbers. The other cool thing, you get to pick. So if it tells you to graph it and you have to pick coordinates, pick numbers that you think are going to be easy. So I've picked my five x values. Step two, I'm going to plug them into the equation. Step two, plug in x values to the equation to find your y values. So I'm going to take negative 2 and put it there. So 3 times negative 2 plus 6. Put parentheses around that. What is 3 times negative 2 plus 6? Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So the y value for this one is 0. Okay, what about 3 times negative 1 plus 6? So again, I'm substituting for x. 3 times negative 1 plus 6. This is 3. What about 3 times 0 plus 6? And now that we've kind of gotten started, 
we can see a pattern. How much is the y increasing each time? 3. So this next value is going to be 9, and then it's going to be 12. Now, remember we're talking about non-proportional. So our coordinate is not 0, 0. No. And we know from our previous lessons that this is the y-intercept. So this was b, which is here. Because when x is 0, that's where it crosses the y-axis. Now let's look at graphing. We're going to graph those coordinates on a coordinate plane. So step three, if it asks you to graph, we're going to graph the coordinates. So it doesn't have to be pretty. You just have to get the idea. And we need to go all the way to 12. Okay, so um, we're not going to go to 12. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we don't need negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Graphing equations. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ordered pairs. The first ordered pair is negative 2, 0. Right here. Negative 2, 0. My second ordered pair is negative 1, 3. Negative 1, 3. And the third one is 0, 6. This one right here is 0, 6. And then we have 1, 9. Oh, I'm running out of room. 1, 9. And lastly, we have 2 over 12. I'm sorry, 2 comma 12, not 2 over 12. Okay, when we're graphing, some of us might need a little bit of review. The first coordinate is the x value. This is the x axis. So if the x value is negative 2, we're going to start at 0, 0 and go 1, 2. And then the second number tells you how far up and down to go on your y axis. This is the y axis. So if I'm at x is negative 2 and y is 0, then my number is here. Okay? What about negative 1, 3? If I start at 0, 0, which way do I go first? I go left 1, and then how far do I move up or down? I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and put a dot. Okay, what about 0, 6? If I'm at 0, 0, what does my x tell me to do? I'm not moving. What does my y tell me to do? Go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to stop there because I'm at the end of my little graph. But also because I have my y-intercept and I have enough to show my slope. So there's my line. All right, that's pretty much it. So good luck. See you guys next time.